This presentation will show you two ways to figure out yield ratios. Given the information on this slide, we need to start by jotting down your first ratio, which is one of every 20 applicants gets an invite for a skills test. Then you add your second ratio, which is for every three who complete the skills test, one is offered a job. Lastly, you need to insert your final ratio, which is half of those offered a job except. Once you have all your ratios listed, you need to fill in the remaining items to complete the full selection process. And finally, you need to add up the total applicants to get the overall yield ratio. In this example, your final yield ratio is 120 to 1. Now using the same example, I want to show you another way to calculate yield ratios using straight math. First, you need to list all of your ratios down in order. Then you can multiply down each side of these ratios to get your final yield ratio. You can see we got the same answer here as we did on the previous slide. What you need to be careful with is that you are jotting down your initial ratios correctly, are multiplying down both sides, and ensuring that you have a ratio of something to one. For example, if I change the above example just slightly, we are gonna get the following ratios. We do the same thing we did above and multiply down each side. However, here we need to make sure that we convert our yield ratio back to something to one. We do this by dividing each side by the number we got from our initial calculation of the right hand side, in this example by two. This gives us an actual yield ratio of 60 to one. One way to ensure you listed your numbers correctly prior to multiplying down each side is that the bigger number should always be on the left. <laughs>